The movie starts and the main character of the movie Pi is shown. Here a writer comes to meet Pi who is sent by his uncle. Pi has an amazing story that will be interesting for the writer. This is the story of his own life and the writer asks about Pi's name. Why is his given name Pi? Pi tells us that every human in this world has different preferences. My uncle likes the swimming pool and my uncle named me Pi when I was born. This name was inspired by the swimming pool and tells actually, my name was Pi Patel but I was teased in the school with this name. Then one day Pi solved a difficult question as the teacher said that's why my teacher appreciated me and admired me in front of everyone. Since then I named myself Pi. He tells many farmers lived at the place where we lived. Then Pi tells about his mother that she was a religious lady and I used to believe in God because my mother did. I wasn't told about my religion in my childhood and when a human is not told about his religion he used to adopt different religions. I started doing this. I adopt many religions and I learned how to love God. I learned how important it is to believe in human life. My father's religion was something else and my father said one day if you will continue following different religions it will mean you don't follow a religion. Hearing this, Pi's mother says he is younger and it doesn't matters which god he loves. Then Pi tells my father has a zoo and he has placed all animals there. I used to see those animals since my childhood. It is true that animals can become good friends to humans. This is not for all animals and one day, I tried to feed a tiger in my childhood. I felt it will not harm me but my father saw me while feeding it and he scolded me. He said what stupidity were you going to do? It even could harm you. My father performed a practical for making me understand and tied a goat in front of the tiger. My father wanted to show me that, wild animals can't become human friends. Animals are animals and it was also proved. I saw that the tiger ate the goat in front of me brutally. Here, I discover that wild animals can't become humans friend then a few years pass and Pi is shown grown elder. Pi likes a girl there and she becomes his friend. One day, he brings her to show the zoo but the land wasn't theirs and they have to leave the place soon. Pi's father tells him while having food that we will be shifted to another place soon and we will sell those animals but Pi wasn't ready for this. He doesn't want to leave his friend but he couldn't tell his family about it. That's why he has to leave the city with his family and his friend with his family. They were on the ship and they go to have food and Pi's father argued with the chef about veg or non-veg. There, another passenger offered his food, and at night Pi's father was giving the medicines to the animals. He tells I am doing this because the sea travel is painful for all the animals. They can't bear it and become ill and start vomiting. So it's better to make them faint. Pi tells the writer we were at the dangerous part of the sea that night and everyone was sleeping but I awake because of the noise and come outside and there was a storm. Firstly, I enjoyed it later, I notice as the water has come inside the ship. Then I remembered that my family is inside the ship so I moved there but there was water everywhere. Then I ran upside where were the others and I asked them to save my family. They all were busy taking out the lifeboats. One of them asked me to sit on the lifeboat and escaped from there but I don't want to go on the boat without my family. Suddenly, my foot slipped and I fell into the boat and moved far because of the strong storm. I was alone on that boat and then I jumped from it. I tried to find out the ship in which there was my family but I found it drowning in the water. Now I don't have any other option instead of going on the lifeboat. Then I found someone else there who was trying to escape like me I moved to save it and saw that was the tiger who had come on this boat. The morning appears and the storm still not stopped I thought I should take out the boat's water and there was an injured zebra because it has a wound on its foot. Later, an aardwolf also reached the boat and then I saw a chimpanzee and I helped and take it on the boat. The aardwolf can't control its hunger and attacks the zebra even I tried to save the zebra but the wolf has ended it. It has eaten it and then the next day, it attacks the chimpanzee to eat it I also tried to save it but I failed. It eats it but before the aardwolf attacks me the tiger comes out of the boat and ends the aardwolf in a jerk. I jumped into the water after seeing the tiger in the boat. The tiger would eat me if it will feel hungry. I was separated from the ship and much time has passed but my condition was getting worse as I was stuck in between the sea. I was worried as I have no way to escape. No rescue team was there to save me, and I was in the sea on a boat with a tiger. I was with a wild animal that can attack me at any time. I found some food and water cans in the boat but it wasn't enough, and it won't help me for much longer. Pi finds a book there in which there was written how to escape if you will be stuck in the sea. Pi starts implementing all those things means he sings for himself and he keeps himself busy while doing something. He tries to stay happy and refreshes his memories. That night Pi feels his past and sees his family in the stars and becomes emotional. He starts weeping and sees how his mother used to tell him to have the courage never let your trust be broken. None can defeat you until you have hope and courage. Here, Pi has a book and a pencil to write and he sends his message through water cans to people while writing. 
He was hopeful that someone will come to help him. He writes please help me I am stuck here. Then Pi tells I found a map on the boat. I can't read the map so I didn't know where I have to go. Pi considers the tiger and how, if I do not feed this hungry tiger, it will end me for feeding itself. Pi have biscuits and water to eat but don't have anything for the tiger so he started fishing. I brought water for the tiger one day and then I thought this will not go for a long time. I have to learn to live with this tiger and then I can live on the rescue boat that was made by him. One day, the hunger of the tiger increases and it jumps into the water for having fish. It sees Pi when it doesn't find anything in the water. Then it moves to him to eat him and Pi was in the rescue boat but moves to the lifeboat to escape. He also pulls the rescue boat towards him that was made by him. The tiger was also trying to get on the boat to escape but Pi was furious at this time and wanted to end this tiger. He sees the tiger and couldn't end it because he was living with the tiger for many days so he helped it. He let it get on the boat and then one day Pi finds a huge fish from the sea. Pi has no other option so he ends it and gives it to the tiger to eat. Then Pi moves forward and Pi never thought that he will meet a whale ever. There were many whales around him when he was in the mid of the sea. They were huge and blue in color. They were looking pretty and then suddenly, a whale come out of the sea and Pi's boat tilts with its jerk. Pi was spending his single day counting one day, they pass a place where they meet many fishes. There were many fishes in the water and many of them were flying there. That's why there were many fishes on their boat and Pi and the tiger both wanted to get them. Pi has nothing to eat and the tiger was also hungry. His food fell because his boat tilted. Pi scares the tiger and makes it far from him and he behaves like the fish and the food belongs to him. Here, it is shown when a human is compelled and helpless, he can do anything. As we know Pi was vegetarian but now he has to eat those fishes unwillingly for his survival. Pi thinks this will not work because I am on a separate boat and the tiger is on a separate boat. I have to live with the tiger somehow so Pi trains it and much time has passed and their condition gets worse. One night, Pi was lost in his memories and he was seeing his family and he becomes hopeful after seeing his family. The pencil Pi had was also finished that now he can't write. Even then he writes with it then one night there was a storm that his rescue boat breaks. The lifeboat was also in a poor condition because there was water filled in it. Pi says to the tiger look, God also wants to help us they are shown the next morning and their condition was worse and the tiger was about to die. Pi moves to the tiger and spreads his hand on its head and the tiger has become so weak that it even can't stand up. Pi places its head in his lap and starts weeping. They were seeing their last time together. As Pi said that God wants to help them so they reach an island according to it and it was a green island. They have. Water and food means they can easily survive there. The surprising thing is the island was full of mongooses. The tiger arrives there and starts eating them and Pi also has many things to eat. There was water to drink and fruits to eat but at night, Pi discover there is something wrong on this island. Or maybe there is some problem because the mongooses were walking on the trees. The tiger also go on the boat while seeing a strange thing. Pi sees the water is changed into acid due to it, the fishes were getting rotten. Pi sees a fruit there and as he opens it he finds a human tooth inside. Now Pi tells the writer that the island was cannibal island means it eats humans and animals. The island is pretty in the daytime and terrible at night. If a human comes here mistakenly he has no other option instead of dying. Pi places so much eating stuff on his boat. He also places some other stuff on the boat. He thinks if he will stop on this island he will be a prey of it. He can't leave the tiger there that's why he also takes many mongooses for the tiger. As Pi blows the whistle the tiger runs to him. The tiger was an animal but it knows that to stop on this island means to die. After traveling for a few more days they reach another island. The tiger gets off the boat and moves towards the island but Pi's condition was worse and he fell down. He thinks the tiger will talk to me before leaving because after living together for so many days we have made a strong bond. If it will not talk to me it will see me while turning and Pi tells I weep here like kids. Now because he has found an island but he was weeping because the tiger didn't see him. The time is so depressing when we can't even say goodbye to anyone. Pi tells I was the lone survivor on that island. There were some people come to me from insurance company and I told them everything. I told them the happenings with me but they didn't believe me. Even they say told us something on which we can believe. Then I told them the story on which they can believe. In this story, there wasn't an animal with him but their family members were. The writer asks Pi did they believe you? Pi says I still have that policy and the writer sees while opening it that there was a paper inside. There was a boy's story on it that a boy lived in the mid of the sea for 227 hours. In the Pacific Ocean that is a dangerous part of the sea but he was with a tiger means the story that is told by Pi to the writer. This was his own story and the writer becomes surprised to hear this. 
the writer asks Pi which story did he like? It means the story of the tiger or the story with your family. Then Pi says the story of the tiger meanwhile, Pi's family arrives means his wife and kids. Pi tells him there wasn't. Anyone left for my family now this is my family. The writer asks Pi can I write your story? Pi says maybe my uncle has sent you here for this so you can. Pi leaves while saying this. Here this movie ends.